Hi, it's Mike from uh, Flex Radio, and let's go through CW Skimmer and how you set it up to work with a variety of different uh, situations. Uh, I'm going to use Slice Master as my starting method for Skimmer. Uh, you can also use SDR Bridge, although I'm not as experienced with it, but I am with Slice Master. So we'll uh, we'll show you how it goes. You can see here actually on the screen, you know, we're copying lots of stuff on 20 meters today, and uh, we have a little, there's actually a built-in cluster server, both in CW Skimmer and Slice Master. I'll show you how to connect to those and uh, get packet spots. You can actually then feed that into your logging program. And if you've used Skimmer before, your uh, this is uh, nothing you probably haven't seen before, so it's all pretty uh, pretty straightforward on the back end. At least how Skimmer functions. But how do you get it working on a Flex? Well, let's have a look. So first off, you want to make sure you purchase CW Skimmer. Uh, it's uh, not inexpensive. It's about seventy dollars US. You can get it from Alex at Afreet Software. Uh, version 2.1 uh, is uh, the one to use. And uh, there's some uh, basic instructions here on how to use the product and set up. And um, here's, here's what the cool stuff is. We talk about the uh, system requirements. Well, you will certainly need a fast computer. Uh, ports, one COM port for the radio cat control. You don't need that because we're going to show you how to work around that. Uh, you're not going to need a sound card because we're going to use uh, DAC, so that's all built in. And you're not going to need any cables. Uh, in fact, you won't need to go out and buy any hardware at all. This is the beauty of using uh, a flex radio with the built-in CAT and DAX options. So uh, that's where you're going to get uh, Skimmer, and uh, it's dxatlas.com. He's also got a whole bunch of other cool things as well. First off, we're going to need Slice Master. Now, Slice Master is a very handy tool for a lot of cool integration. Uh, you can get it from, if you just Google Slice Master, that's all I did here. I just Googled Slice Master and K1 Delta uh, Bravo Oscar. I went here. Uh, and, and for those of you that do not read, you're going to miss the download. How do you find it? And where do you find it? And there's no link to click. You can get the latest release downloaded from here. In Chrome, you can highlight and go to. And there's the public beta. Just download uh, version 0 0.10.7. Uh, install it on your computer. So we don't need uh, that anymore. And uh, so once you get it all installed, uh, there's no... Um, you're going to have to create a shortcut or go find it off your downloads folder. It's, it's an executable. There's no installer. So that's a little bit different. Instructions are on the Slice Master page. Talked about that before in other videos. So bring up Slice Master, and uh, a couple of things here under launch, you're going to see CW Skimmer. So I recommend when you're starting things that you start DAX uh, first, uh, connect it to your radio. And uh, by the way, notice here we've got an IQ stream. So that's the first thing before getting Slice Master going. I'm just going to close this. And uh, well, how do I turn on the IQ stream? That's different than these streams. Uh, and uh, so I'll show you in two different cases. If you're using Smart SDR for Windows, you'll need to pick the DAX channel, the DAX IQ channel. And I apologize, this is, could be labeled a little better, but you'll notice that there's four of them here. Pick one to four. Generally, you're just going to need one. I'm not going to pick it here because it's not the setup I have. Mine's a little bit more complicated so I can record it correctly. But you're going to pick one. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so that means that we're now feeding data from the radio into DAX, right down here, look at this, uh, 4800, certainly wide enough, uh, just leave it at 4800, and it's 14.0, that's where my VFO is set, happens to be on my Maestro. Okay, so now what if you're using, uh, I'm just going to shrink this for the moment. So what if you're using a Maestro or an M model? If you press the display button, uh, down here, I can actually do it by most because it's an emulator, and it'll pop that up. You want to select DAX IQ, drop that down, and select it 1. Now what happens is when you uh, go to CW and you look at uh, bring up uh, Slice Master, I, you should see this button here. You can click on it or select when active. Uh, I have it set, you know, when I'm in CW mode to, to spin up Slice Master and get it starting started. But it may not start if you don't have your IQ stream already selected. 
So keep that in mind that you still have to have the IQ stream selected. Sort of like using Slice Master for WSJT and FT8 modes, you have to have DAX running. You have to have your audio channel selected in those modes. Same concept. So that's good. And so we'll bring back up Slice Master, or we'll bring back up uh, uh, CW Skimmer, and there it is. Now, here's the cool stuff about it. On, um, as you may have seen on uh, Smart SDR, we have all those spots that are being seen have now been sent. Let's just shrink this down. Uh, did you know you can collapse the slice? All those spots being collected by Slice Master are being sent right to the radio. Very handy in a CW contest. Uh, and it works really well. But there's also a built-in um, cluster server in, in both uh, Slice Master or CW Skimmer. Uh, you can choose which one you want to use. You don't need to use both. But uh, you'll, you're going to open, a, in my case for this demonstration, you can select the IP address of the computer you're using. A little bit of networking stuff here. In my case, it's 192.168.110.14. You could probably use 127.0.0.1 and, uh, and do the same thing. That means the local host or the computer you're using. And, uh, and just as an example here in uh, PuTTY, I would type in the IP address here. I would make that a Telnet value. And, uh, oh, geez, what port number is that? And uh, I don't know if you've seen my talks about port numbers, but uh, well, we can go uh, we can go find out what port number that is by bringing up Slice Master, and under um, the three dots, uh, we have a Telnet enag enable aggregate server, Telnet port seventy two eighty five. Uh, I would uh, put that in here, change the port to seventy two eighty five. I'll tell you what, we'll just close this one so you can see that. Yes, we'll close that session. Uh, I'm going to use 127.0.0.1 because I said that would work. Uh, and it works for everybody, 7285. And I want to make sure we're in Telnet. Telnet and I'm going to hit open. What's my call sign? VA3MW, hit enter. And as the cluster server finds a new um, CW call signs, in CW Skimmer, they'll start to show up here. So let's just keep that open for a while. Uh, there's one there, it sort of came in as I was typing things. But uh, the other cool thing now about here, if, if you wanna just get calls and just uh, see what calls are showing up, you can click this button up here. And if you wanna see all the raw text, look there, we have a spot, by the way, it came from VA3MW slice A. Um, that's what the slash A means. and there's the speed he's at, and look at that. We're starting to pick up a whole bunch of DX. And this is why people use this in a contest. These are not on a cluster that being reported. This is just my own little world, and it's pretty handy that way. If I want to see, and my CW is really bad, and I'm not a high-speed CW operator, I can actually show raw text, uh, and uh, then you'll see the data uh, coming up from, other, from QSOS or whatever. Because what we're seeing is more than uh, what's being shown here. We can actually drag this down and uh, we'll see some other things above. If I wanted to say, hey, I wanna see what to go here, I can just double click here. You'll see that the green bar moved. My VFO frequency changed uh, to 14023. Click here, we went to 026 and so did my transmitter. And, uh, and so that's how skimmer works. So. Now that you've got it running, there's a lot more you can do with it by sharing your spots uh, within your own network. So there's a quick overview of CW Skinner, Skimmer using Slice Master for uh, your, uh, your, uh, your application, whatever you want to do. By the way, this is really handy in a pileup as well. And uh, well, I mean, there's less pileups today because of um, COVID and less de-expeditions, but in the de-expedition world, it tell you it's pretty handy when you're trying to work a uh, a big pile of people and can't figure out where uh, where they're calling. I can't drag that off the screen. If I spin my VFO, by the way, you'll see that it tracks, and uh, we'll get down here to have a listen to this guy, and we can turn that back, uh, turn my audio back on. Let's see.
We could turn off the raw text if you want, but if you still wanted to copy that guy without all the horsepower, you can see that we decode it down here. It's sugar mic for uh, um, echo delta kilowatt, I think. And uh, the other cool thing is I think you can hover over. Yeah, you can hover over people and see what they did say if you're sort of curious. That's CW Skimmer, and I hope that gives you going on it. 73. 